Hi and hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Tech Salvage. And today, what we have for you here is a lovely specimen of the old school. That's right, it's a Sony Trinitron 27 inch flat screen CRT television. It has 20 watts of sound coming out of those speakers and it goes all the way up to composite connection. So that means that you can get full, rich, colorful pl pleasure from your retro gr gaming blah. I can't talk today. Well, either way, check it out. This bad boy was being tossed, and well, this will probably be a relatively short episode because I'm not really going to be taking anything apart on this. It's perfect. I need one. And this is top of the line if you were going to get a TV for your retro gaming needs or any other needs in that matter, or just wanted a really, really, really big heavy thing in your house that also allows you to watch stuff on it not great quality then here you go and well as you can see the picture's not too bad has a nice effect on it and so on and so forth Ooh, uh, the hands are coming for you well anyways yes this bad boy came out in 2001. I got a hold of the owner's manual and the service manual. You know what? Link down below for those if you need one. And yeah, let's go check it out in the back. And here is the rear end of this monster with the Sony logo embossed on the back. We also have pots and all that good stuff and the connections very simple basic to the point you have about four inputs one output for audio full stereo and then you have the VHS and UHF which is very lonely these days which I may just retrofit and make another stereo input who knows we'll see Anyways, as you can see, it has S-Video and your standard component on both. And then on this one, though, you have Composite. Yes, that's the one we'll be testing out today. And we shall go take a look at that. And here we go. Yes, that's right. I decided to hook up the Xbox and see what it looks like. Oh, another little tidbit in any Sony television remote or hell, even DVD player or any remote of any generation, they all work on the same thing. Same frequency and everything. So if you have one just laying about, then, you know, there you go. And here we are. Yes. As you can see, we can go to the settings, and, well, the colors are quite nice, and the sound isn't too bad. Let's hear that sound for a little bit. No, for 20 watts, it's not bad. Now, turn it down a little bit so we don't blast ourselves, uh, the audio on this. I don't know if we'll really be able to enjoy all this, but I do know that it does have a surround simulator on it, or one of the models that's in this. Unfortunately, we can only go up to 480p on this, so don't be trying to go all 180 or 1080, actually. Yes, because as you can see, I pay attention a lot. So, let's see what we have here. Go ahead and pop in a game and see what we got. Now, this is as retro as I can really go right now because I don't really own anything older than an Xbox or a PlayStation right now because, well, well, yes, I did live in that time period. I did not really, like, you know, I'm not really able to... Oh, hold on! Hmm. Well, we seem to be having some... Interesting technical difficulties. One second, please. 
So I realized I can't really put it on 480p. This is a CRT. I am kind of catching up on speed on this stuff, so we'll see how this works out. See, there we go. It's working. Huzzah. <laughs> audience is now deaf. So, check out that crisp color. Oh yeah. It's not as good as my 55-inch uh, television, flat screen, HD, so on and so forth, but this, in respects, is probably going to be as good as you get for your basic retro gaming and so on and so forth. If you just go, like go, this go, stuff, go. then yeah. But otherwise... Go, go. The coin's paying us by the yeah. hour. Stick to the higher ground for the run. We should be able to recon the covenant position without being spotted. Let's see if I'm I can get some maximum coverage over next here. Fast. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. Ooh, let's see if I can get this guy. Nope. I moved too quickly. There's a guy, and there's a guy. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad. I am such a bad shot. I can't get anybody else I'll give away my position. There's one. Shot through the heart and you're too late. Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, to conclude, always pay attention to what people are throwing out around you. And honestly, you know, yeah. These things are really cheap nowadays, and even the lower end ones, like this one, I mean, they have like super duper versions out there with RGB and so on, the European variety and so on and so forth. But in this case, really, it's just, you know, one of these is just good. And also, the flat screen, from what I was reading in articles, it, it helps with the tube not being so distorted. You actually see more with one of these than, say, oh yes, headshot. Say, one of those more bulbous types. But, but, for now, I will leave you. And remember, this was all just an experiment. hoo -ha! Thank you.